Alright folks, this is how to edit iPod part 3. This one gets, uh, this one's pretty tight. I think this is the best one. First what we're going to do is, um, since you probably watched the other instructional videos and um, done the font changing and the background changing, what you can do is you can go to fonts and this is to change the font type. You can change it however you want it. It's pretty complicated but you can you can get it mm, the only problem is you have to upload some certain things so I'll post it up so what we go is go to index no rhyme bad you go to OTF fonts make sure you go to OTF fonts and then what you do is you go up to index and you click one after you do that there's gonna be a series of letters numbers and symbols don't worry about those. Now go to make font. This is where you can change any font you want. See all these fonts you have right here, basically the fonts you have in Word. Um, there is one font I like in particular, I downloaded it myself, it's called the Halo font. And it's pretty tight. Um, what you do is you go to, you click it, and you don't want to get too big on the size. If you do, it'll start going out of the space you have on the iPod and it won't look good at all. So I'll just say around 12 to 14 and we'll click OK. Once we do that we just basically go to write iPod and you have your text changed. And that's it. That's text change.